Alright, welcome. So in this video, we're going to install an NPM package for Tailwind, which is called Daisy UI. So let's go to the web, and then you just type Daisy UI. I'll post a link in the description, and then go to this website right here. It has some really powerful and beautiful templates and components that we're gonna use in our project. So click on components right there on top. Here, click on install. All right, we're gonna use an npm command, this one, npm install d, this UI. And to our project, make sure you have php artisan serve running and another terminal npm run dev, always don't forget this. Let's open a new terminal interface. Let's paste this command here and install. All right, now after Daisy UI is installed, we don't have to include it in our Tailwind config. Now let's go down here, open the Tailwind config file. Then you're gonna have to require this one down here. So we can copy this command inside here. Go back here, put a comma, paste it there. Yes, and after that, we're just gonna have to add one Daisy UI config here. So after theme, just type Daisy, Daisy UI, colon, open brackets. Down there, put a comma. Inside here, you're gonna say themes. You're just gonna add one theme because if we don't do this, it's gonna add, oh, I don't know, 20, 50 themes. So that's gonna add light. This is this will you know help us reduce the CSS file for Daisy UI. All right, after we do that. We're now gonna have to go to back to the Daisy UI website. In here, let's get the drawer layout. So on the left side here, go and look for the drawer. This one. Or the drawer layout. And then let's use this one, responsive drawer layout. The one which is always visible on the large screen. It can be toggled on the small screen. Or this can be helpful in many other projects, not just this one. So let's go to HTML. Let's copy this one. And then let's go to our app. So here, go to the app layout. All right, so inside our app here, we can just remove everything inside the body. And then let's paste the code that we just copied like that. And then inside here, we're just gonna add the slot. So here, type slot. All right, that's it. So to test this, we can go to our localhost server. So here, copy this localhost URL, paste it inside the browser, like that. Alright, so now let's create an account, new, here, new, add. Right now, after we register and then we go to our dashboard, you see that we have the left side here with a drawer and the right side for where we can put our files. So this will be our start and if you reduce this you see that it will disappear and we can have this hover like that you can have this drawer coming up as a hover yes so that's it one last thing before we close here let's go to our style let's add an alpine x clock so here add style in here add x clock this one display none display none which is let's make it important all right, so that's, that's it for this video. And then in the next one, I'm not gonna start adding some files on the left side and also start designing our Instagram application. So thank you, see you in the next video.